Welcome to Skeg Vegas Wrestling, episode 47. I'm your host, your commentator, your ring announcer. If you're watching the show, please drop a like, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all, it will let you know whenever I go live. If you're watching the show, please type SVW in the live chat after every match so I know who's watching and who isn't. I would greatly appreciate it if throughout the show you could share this show about with your friends, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and get as many viewers as possible. This is the final show before Skeg Vegas Wrestling Last Stand 3. That goes down Sunday, 6pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. Every championship will be on the line and so much more. I'm going to check the live chat for the first time now. The show will begin on the hour in four minutes. Please let me know if the mic quality and video quality is good. Let's try and reach 30 live viewers for this show. Welcome Michael Mayer Matthews, welcome Theodore Morozov, welcome Lily Jones, welcome Jacob Harris, welcome Jordan Lee, welcome Ty Jacobs, welcome Zayden Gage, welcome Jay Masters, welcome Angel, welcome Bruno Mack, welcome Brody Reeves, welcome Killshot I believe that is, welcome Ray Ragone, let me know if you're in the live chat and you haven't got your wrestling name as your YouTube name, welcome Alex Dream, welcome Dio Flores, welcome Matthew, welcome Zoe Rogue. Welcome James Steele, welcome Nerd, welcome Sir Wayne Kingdom, welcome Jason Youngblood, welcome Vincent Payne, welcome Ty Uxley. Remember if you've not got your wrestling name as your YouTube name, please let us know who you are. I'm just going to double check I've shared it everywhere I can, I've shared it on Discord. I believe I've shared it on Discord. Yeah, I shared it on Discord. Share it to all the Instagram group chats. Check if I've shared it to my story. Yep, shared it to my Instagram story. Shared it on X. Let me check if I've shared it on YouTube. Shared it on YouTube. Shared it on Facebook. So I've shared it everywhere I can. Now it's your turn. Get this show shared about. Let's get some more views for this show. Welcome Killian Crow. How many likes are we currently on? Welcome Philip Adams. Welcome Dylan Dalton. We are going to kick off with Wingman Division action. It is going to be LBC versus the number one contenders to the Wingman Championships. KOC, it's going to be Jay Masters and Zayden Gage, LBC versus Troy Dillon and Miles Dixon, Kings of Chaos. Welcome Troy Dillon, welcome Xavier Williams, I want to see all four of these men in the live chat, I want to see who you want to win in the live chat and I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, to your social medias, to your followers. The show will begin on the hour in one minute. Let's get as many eyes on this show as we can. The final show before Last Stand 3. Live streaming 6pm UK time Sunday. Welcome CZB. We are coming live from Skegness, England for this go home show. We've got a blockbuster main event. We're starting off with a tight team match and we are ending with a tight team match here tonight. One minute and the show will begin. On the hour. Welcome Jordan Shaw. Let's get into this show. If the show ever does crash, I will be straight back live. So please make sure to come back, watch, drop a like. But we are going to kick off with Wingman Division action. It is going to be LBC, Zayden Gage and Jay Masters versus KOC, 
Troy Dillon and Miles Dixon. I want to see all four of these men in the live chat. I want to see you want to win in the live chat. We know that Kings of Chaos will face United Front for the Wingman Championship Sunday at last stand three. Can they go into that show with momentum? I hope that Sir William Kingdom and Freddie Fox United Front, the Wingman Champions, have got eyes on this match. Let's get into it. Let's get the show to 24 likes. The full win is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling opening contest and is a tag team match in the Wingman division. Making their way to the ring first, the team of J Masters, Zayden Gage, LBC. These two are 1 and 0 as a tag team, defeating New Generation, Rust, and John Penner recently on an episode of Skate Vegas Wrestling. Zayden Gage is 2 and 1 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. And J Masters is 3 and 4. Looking to weekly up here tonight and go 4 and 4 is J Masters. Let's get the show to 25 likes. And their opponents, their team off. Miles Dixon, Troy Dillon, Kings of Chaos. They are your number one contenders to the Wingman Championships. They will face the Wingman Champions United Front Sewer and Kingdom and Freddie Fox. Sunday at last stand free live streaming at 6 p.m. UK time. You do not want to miss that event. Kings of Chaos are 5 and 1 as a team at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Miles Dixon is 5 and 2. Troy Dillon is 6 and 1. Tag team action to kick off this show. Sir Wayne Kingdom one off of the Wingman Champions has got eyes on this match. What a huge win this would be for LBC in their second match as a tag team if they can put away KOC. But that's going to be a tough task. Just their second match as a tag team. And they have to go against KOC. One of the most established tag teams in this industry. Very experienced. It's going to be J Masters to start off against Troy Dillon. The bell rings and off we go. J Masters is going to have the weight and eye advantage. Striking away at these two already. Chop. Punch. Went for another punch. Four on by Jay, punch by Jay. Both of these men still standing. Into the knee. Into the sense on. Jay Masters stands about six foot six. He's gonna have the height and weight advantage. Went for the forearm and missed. Troy Dillon blocked. Went for the chop and it was counted into the hook up. And drops him down. With a variation of the brain buster, I think that was. Grabs him by the head. Punches in the clinch. And tosses him. Using his power is J Masters. And Zayden Gage is tagged in. Went for the pump kick. Into the pillow kick by Troy Dunn. And a drop kick. And Gage right back to his feet. Went for the barrel. Roll leg sweep into the electric chair and drop down. 
And Troy was trying to make his way to Miles Dixon. Engage is wrapping him up and trapping him up and disrespecting him. Here, got him wrapped up and trapped up like a pretzel and a kick to the butt. And the tag is made by LBC. Looking great here, it has to be said. Troy back in the ring. Went for the chop, it was blocked. Comes running in. Only just to counter it and slip out. Punch. Forearm. Cheap shot by Dixon. Punch. Punch. Chop. Chop. Went for the knee. It was counted into the strikes. Oh, what a kick by Jay Masters. And Dylan trying to make the tag to Miles Dixon. And he does make the tag. And Gage came flying in, but Dixon saw it coming and kicking away at the back of the legs. And a discus forearm. Gage back to his feet. Went for the super kick. Missed. Grabs him from behind. Counter. Looking for the hand spin. Clothesline. But Dixon right back up. Went for the pump kick. Again, it was bought. Respect shown by these two. Fast strikes by Miles. Stumped to the foot into the knee strike. Rolls to the outside. Miles digs it with a suicide dive. Forearm smash. And kill C. Old the ring. Gage back in the ring now. Soul kicking an uppercut. And Miles Dixon saying, go on then, tag in Jim Masters. Knee strike. Kick. Into the cover. I don't think that's going to be enough. Not even a one shoulder up. Into the ropes. Huge lariat by Jim Masters. The standout of LBC. Punching away, slamming him head first into the mat twice. Pulls him up. Looking for the Goldbuster. Go to sleep! And to the top rope. He should have gone for the pin, in my opinion. Double foot stomp by J Masters. That is it. One, two, three. Dylan brings it up. He took out the ref. We was that close to LBC picking up a huge upset victory. Miles Dixon needs a tag desperately. Jay Masters is on fire here tonight. This is a breakout performance for him. Oh, and Zane and Gaze dancing on Dixon. And slams him face first into the mat. Jay Masters has done the damage. But Miles kicks him off. Gage got a little bit too confident. Sends him into the corner. And a tag made by KOC. Throws him out of the corner. Knee. Into another knee. Into the cover. Is that enough? One. Only a one. Stays on him with a mounted punches. There's Troy Dillon. And some more mounted punches. Just striking away. Gage is busted open. And was looking for some more strikes. And Gage turned it around into the forearms. Gage got the eye and weight advantage. Into the lock up. Sent into the ropes. Went for the spin kick and missed. Into the springboard kick. And Jay Masters is tagged in. Went for the drop kick, did Dylan. Shot to the gut. Another drop kick by Troy Dylan. And a leg sweep. Zane and Gage went for a cheap shot. Troy Dylan keeping Jay Masters grounded right now. Stomping away at the back of the ankles. Into the submission. It is hot in, his master's going to tap out. Jay Masters fights free and Gage with a cheap shot. Taking out Troy Dunn. 
Jim Masters lining up his shot. With the wrong step topic on Elo. Grabs him by the head. Punches to the shoulder, I believe, and just tosses him on the outside. That mat is very thin. Count at three. We don't want to see this end in a draw. Sent into the barricade, but Troy Dillon stopped himself from going right into it. Count at five. These two continuing to brawl on the outside. Into the fireman's carry. And slam down with a Death Valley driver of some sort. These two need to get in the ring and Troy Dillon realised that. Count as an eight and he is back in. And Jay Masters looking for that lariat we saw earlier. Troy Dillon turned it around. Pulls Masters to his feet. Looking for the super kick. Is that it? To win this match. Zid engages in. Zid engage breaks it up. Sent into the corner. Cheap shot by Dixon. Cannonball by Troy Dillon. KOC in control currently. Sends him into the corner. Another cheap shot by Dixon. He's just getting doubled up on. Is Jay Masters in that corner? Sent into the corner again. Tag made by KOC. Punch. Kick. Kick to the back of the leg. Kick again. Paley kick over. And to get into the double foot stomp. To the back into the cover to win the match. One and it is broken up by Zayden Gage. Miles getting right in the grill of J Masters. What a knee by Masters! And now going after the legs. Looking to crush the legs. Stomp to the back. Zayden Gage is tagged in. Looking for the death. Valley driver the DVD into the cover to win this match. Blood dripping down his head. Troy Dillon needs to get in. Miles Dixon escapes it two and off. But Zayden Gage is looking to end this match. Counter by Dixon. Into the flatliner. Close line. Knee strike. Now oh, going after the legs. Elbows to the legs. Keeping the bigger man grounded. Gage kicks him off. Arms trapped. Four on to the back of the head. Second four on to the back of the head. That was brutal. And Zayden Gage to the corner. Sagging in Jay Masters. Jay Masters with a pillow kick. Dixon trying to crawl to his partner. Jay Masters looking for that brutal knee strike again. That could break a jaw. Into the top rope. Is he thinking double foot stomp? We saw it early in the match. And it connects again. That is it. One broken up by Troy Dillon again, saving KOC. Pulls him to his feet. Looking for the gold buster. Go to sleep again. That is it. Oh, the Bells Dixon turns it around into the cover. One, two. Oh, he escapes. Why is Troy Dillon going after the ref? What's he doing? Gonna get the cued. Car by Jay Masters to Miles Dixon. The rest on the outside. Zane engages in. The rest back in. How have KOC not been disqualified? Anarchy in this tag team match to open up the show. Should KOC 
have been disqualified. Went to grab him and missed. Sends him into the ring. Stomp to the back. Counters it. Stomp. Going after the legs again. And he's still going after the legs. Keeping Zayden Gage grounded is Miles Dixon. And then nip up by Gage into the roof edge press, into the mountain punches. And now Miles Dixon is busted open as well. Arms trapped behind the back. Forearms to the back of the head. How resilient is Miles Dixon? Gage pulls him up. Looking to grab him and drag him and send him to the corner. But fights free with the back elbows. Got him trapped up. Forearm to the back of the head. That is it. G Masters has took off the apron. Into the cover. One. Two. Oh, Zayden Gage gets the shoulder up at the last dying breath. Sent into the corner. Another tag made by KOC. Drop to hold. Into the double foot stomp. Into the knee strike. Engage to the outside. Troy Dillon doesn't want to wait. Goes out there and gets him. Kick to the gut by Gage. Went for the pump kick. Countered by Dillon. This match rages on. Sent it into the corner. Kick. And now, KLC looking to end it. Looking for evil intentions. That is it. That is it. Went to distract J Masters. Takes him off the apron. Into the cover. One, two, three. Kings of Chaos win. And they have momentum going into the last stand three on Sunday where they will face the wingman champions, United Front, Sir Wing Kingdom and Freddie Fox for the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Wingman Championships. Let's get the show to 33 likes, please. Welcome Duncan Riley. Welcome anyone else that I haven't already welcomed. And the winners of this match, by pinfall, the team of Miles Dixon, Troy Dillon, Kings of Chaos. Welcome Jackson Bates, welcome Brody Reeves. Future wingman champs, says Jackson Bates. Let's get into the second match of the show. It is going to be Jordan Lee versus Paris Sky in Queen of Vegas Division action. I want to see both of these women in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, see your social medias, to your followers. Welcome VKid. Welcome David Lewis. Welcome Paris Sky. Paris Sky is the number one contender to the Queen of Vegas Championship. She will face the Queen of Vegas Champion, Renee. Sunday at last stand three for the Queen of Vegas Championship. I wonder if Renee has got eyes on this match. Let's get into it. How many likes are we currently on someone? Please let me know. Please let me know if the video quality and mic quality is good. The following is a one-on-one -on -one match in the Queen of Vegas division. Making her way to the ring first. Jordan. Lee! Jordan Lee is 0-1 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Made her debut against Cassie Bobbs. Had a great showing in that match, but came a little short. 
What a huge win this would be if she could defeat Paris Sky, you know, the number one contender to the Queen of Vegas Championship. She will face the Queen of Vegas Champion Renee Sunday for the Queen of Vegas Championship at last stand three. Understand how big this match was for LBC taking on such a well established tag team of KOC. Such an incredible match that proves LBC is on the verge of capitalizing on the potential we just saw in that match. That is a very good point, Dio Flores. A very good point. Welcome, Duke Main. Let's get the show to 33 likes. I hope everyone is enjoying the show so far. This is your second match of the night, Queen of Vegas Division Action. And her opponent, Paris Sky. What an impression Paris Sky has made at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. She's had a lot of co-main events. She has got a record of four wins and two losses. She goes one-on-one -on -one with Renee for the Queen of Vegas Championship Sunday at last stand three. And she is on a roll this month. She is 2-0 and zero for this month. She recently picked up a huge win over a former Queen of Vegas champion, Reynard. That's how she got in a match with Rene at last stand three. It's going to be Jordan Lee versus Paris Sky. The bell rings and off we go right into the centre of the ring. Right into the lockup. Slammed head first into the mat. And a stomp. To the arm. And Paris Sky in control early on into another lock up. Snap there. Into the rope. Penalty kick by Paris Sky into the double knees. Into the double knees, Moonsault. We've seen that a lot by Paris. And Paris onto the apron now. Into the ring with the face buster. Into the cover to win this match. One, two, Powers out as Jordan Lee. What a sequence by Paris Sky, who continues to impress at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Takes her down, clubbing away at the abdominal region. Into the double knees moonsault again. Into the springboard moonsault out of the corner. Into the cover. One, two. Shoulder up by Jordan Lee, but Paris Sky is showing how good she is here in this match. Into the lockup again. Knee into the inferred Frankensteiner. But Jordan Lee right back to her feet defiantly. Into the knee. And fired up is Jordan Lee getting the fans on her side. Into the power slam position. Sends her into the turnbuckle and throws her down. Stomp to the arm. Kick. Keeping her grounded into the arm bar stretch. Maybe working on that arm. Maybe setting up for a submission later on in the match. Where is she going? Into the handspring pele kick. It was a little bit delayed, but he connected. Caught Paris Sky off guard. Went for the chop. Punch. Into the lock up once more. Slammed down, and now she's going after the arm of Jordan Lee. And the double knees into the double knees moonsault yet again. Into the springboard split moonsault. Into the cover. One, two. Shoulder up. But how impressive has Paris Sky been with these sequences? It's beautiful to watch. Chop, kick, roundhouse kick to the head, into the Hurricane Rana. Jordan Lee with a sequence of her own now. What a great start to this match, super entertaining. Look at the strength of Jordan Lee. With a glam stretch of some sort. 
I'm going after the legs. The women of Skate Vegas Wrestling always show up and show out like they are here. Punch to the back of the head. Springboard. Bulldog by Jordan Lee. Pulls her to her feet. Punch. Was looking to end it. Paris Sky countered. Springboard. Bulldog again by Jordan Lee. Grabs her. Drags her. Center of the ring. Going after the legs. Variation of the figure four. That has damaged Paris Sky's legs. And Jordan Lee pulls her to her feet. Punch. Looking to end this match with a variation of the face monster. That is it. You drop set cookie cover. Two is over. Escapes in the last time breath. We was that damn close. And Jordan Lee to the top rope. Went for the Swanton bomb. Paris Sky saw it coming. Takes her down. Takes her down again. Kick. Out of it in the corner. Paris comes running in with a clothesline. Back elbow. Throws her out of the corner. And now begins to stomp on her. Pulls her to her feet. Snap there. Got her in a certain position. What is she thinking? Paris Sky with a run up into the cannonball. That is it. One, two. Shoulder up again by Jordan Lee, showing how resilient she is. And Paris pulls her to her feet. Kick to the gut, looking for the spinning pile driver, that is it. One, two, oh, shoulder up at two and a half. I have no idea how she kicked out of that. And now stomping away at the hand, the fingers, the wrist of Jordan Lee's Paris Sky and choking her. Jordan Lee fought free from that. Backbreaker. Jordan Lee fired up. Punch. Walk up. Sent into the rope. Running knee. Both of these women fired up. Sent into the corner. Back elbow. Throws her out the corner. Still standing. Is Paris Sky. But she's not anymore. Dropped on the back of the head into the cover. One, two. Escapes. That was a tight bridge by Jordan Lee. Jordan Lee. Waiting for Paris to get up into the row. Step to peak on Evo. What a match between these two women. Putting it all on the line here for the fans. To pick up a victory. Pulls her to her feet. Kick to the gut by Paris. Paris back in the ring. Jordan Lee back in the ring. The ref nearly got it at a moment. And a backbreaker by Jordan Lee. Pulls her up. Looking for the small package. Driver! Go for the cover, Pinner. Instead pulls her to her feet again. Punch. Grabs her from behind. Look at the strength. And drops her on her face. That is it. That is it. Into the cover. One. Two. Oh my word. She escaped. Into the top rope goes Jordan Lee. Tells her to get to her feet. Double knee face breaker. That is it. One, two, three, and Paris Sky wins. Where did that double knee face breaker come from?
And the winner of this match by pinfall, Paris Sky. Right, let's get into the next match. It is going to be Scott Adams of the King of Vegas division versus Ty Uxley of the No Limits division. Ty Uxley, formerly known by Ty Takeover. This is a division versus division match. I want to see both of these men in the live chat. I want to see you want to win in the live chat. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, with your social medias, with your followers. We know that Scott Adams goes one-on-one -on -one with Killian Crow, formerly known by Jack Crow, Sunday at Skeg Vegas Wrestling Last Stand 3 in a locked-in Vegas match. Will he have momentum going into that match? The following is a division versus division match. Making his way to the ring first. Representing the King of Vegas division from Boston, Lincolnshire. Scott Effin Adams. The British badass, he is undefeated at SVW, looking to remain undefeated here. He has got a record of two wins and zero losses, I believe. Yes, two wins, zero losses. We go three and zero here. We have the same record of Killian Crow. And his opponent representing the No Limits division, Ty Oxley. I believe this man is 0 and 3 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling, formerly known by Ty Takeover. Looking to pick up his first win at SVW. And looking to end Scott Adams' undefeated streak. Killian Crow, he said he's got eyes on this match and so he should because come Sunday he will face Scott Adams in a locked in Vegas match. Being very dominant, the British badass, Scott Effin Adams, the bell rings and off we go, punch, grabs him from behind, fights through with a back elbow into the ropes, huge clothesline by Scott Adams. As Ty was trying to hit that clothesline, Scott waiting patiently, punch, grabs him from behind, into the shot, to the back, grabs him again, into the German suplex, and pulls him right back up to his feet, punch again, grabs him from behind, another German suplex, pulls him up to his feet again, another punch, but he is counted with a kick to the back of the leg, shoved off by Scott Adams, Shoved off again by Scott Adams. Punch. Grabs him from behind. Another German suplex. Scott Adams is on fire here. Arguing with a ref now. Telling the ref to tell Ty to get back in the ring. Ty is back in the ring now. We know he's a hot head. Scott Adams. Oh, what a big boo that was. Punch by Ty. 
Shoved off by Adams. Too strong, too powerful. Kick it's to the back of the legs. Then slams him down to the mat. Into the mat of strikes. The grounded strikes. Punch to the gut. Punch. Grabs him from behind. Into the German suplex into the bridge. One. Two. Ty manages to escape and rolls to the outside. But Ty is in trouble here. Zero and three at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He desperately needs this win. Grabs him from behind. Another German suplex. And tells him to get up. Punch again. Grabs him from behind again. Another German suplex into the bridge. One. Ty escapes. Like a suplex machine right now is Scott Adams. Misses with a punch. Punch. Grabs him from behind. Another German suplex and holds on into the crowd. One. How impressive has Scott Adams been with these German suplexes? Punch. Kick. Chop. Kick to the gut. Into the DDT. Scott Adams rolls to the outside. Tie up so looking to fly with a crossbody. This is your third match of the night. Division versus division action. It is Scott Adams, the British badass. Scott Effing Adams of the King of Vegas division versus Ty Uxley of the No Limits division, formerly known by Ty Takeover. Going after the legs with the elbow to the leg. And an elbow to the face. Pulls him to his feet. Went for the roundhouse kick. Sent him into the ring. Sent it into the corner. Back elbow fights three out of the corner into the lockup. Use knee. Not done. Pulls him back up. Into the lockup again. Another use knee. Pulls him up again. Into the lockup again. Look at the strength of Scott Adams. Really showing off his strength in this match. Gut wrench. Powerbomb of some sort. Ty Uxley getting manhandled. Kick to the gut by Uxley. Roundhouse kick out of nowhere into the cover to this match. One, two, what a devastating shot. Escapes at the last dying breath. Pulls him to his feet. Ty takeover looking for the Nebrikar. That is it, huge upset to pick up his first win at SVW. Kicks out at two. Ty Uxley to the top rope, looking to fly. Tells Scott Adams to get to his feet. Scott Adams with a punch, what a punch it was. Misses with whatever he was going for, just shoves him in the gut instead. One German suplex holds on into a second German suplex holds on into a third German suplex. He's out. Just pin him. Just pin him. He's not done. He's not done. Jackknife. Powerbomb. By Scott Adams. One, two, three. Wow. What a dominant performance. And the winner of this match, by pinfall, the British badass, Scott Effin Adams. A name change did not help Ty. It's another loss for him, 0-4 at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. What's he got to do? 
to turn it around. I'm sure he'll bounce back. I'm sure he'll bounce back. Don't worry about that. And next up, it is the core main event. It is going to be Shumatsu versus the debuting Bruno Mack. I want to see both these men in the live chat. I want to see who you want to in, in the live chat. And I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends to your social media, to your followers. It's going to be the undefeated Shumatsu versus the debuting Bruno Mack. King of Vegas Division action. Shumatsu will be managed by Joe Quinn the Judah. Shumatsu is the number one contender to the King of Vegas Championship. He will face Michael Mayer Matthew Sunday at last stand three in the opening match in a Monsters Ball match. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling coming event and is the King of Vegas Division match. Making his way to the ring first, been accompanied to the ring by Joaquin the Judo Shumatsu. This man is undefeated at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. He's the number one contender to the King of Vegas Championship. He has got a record of eight wins, one draw, and zero losses. Sunday at last stand free, live streaming at 6 p.m. UK time on the Skate Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. In the opening match, it will be in a one-on-one -on -one Monsters Ball match with the King of Vegas champion, Michael Mayer Matthews, for the King of Vegas Championship. He's going to want momentum going into that match. He's going against the debuting Bruno Mack here. And this might actually be a test for Shumatsu because I've seen Bruno Mack backstage and he's a big dude. Shumatsu's been on a roll this month. Taking his time, making the fans wait, making Bruno Mack wait. And his opponent making his Skeg Vegas Wrestling debut. Bruno Mack. Two heavy hitters going to go at it here. This man seems to be a throwback. An old school professional wrestler. Looks like something out of an 80s movie. Big thick moustache. Simple attire. The orange pants and the black boots. Stands about six foot six, I believe. So he's not too far off Shumatsu's eye, if not the same eye. I don't think Shumatsu is going to be able to throw away, throw around this man like he usually does. The bell rings and off we go, Bruno back, came flying in with a big boot. Shumatsu too quick, shoves him off, comes running in again, uppercut, knee, punch, punch again, punch again, it's like Godzilla versus King Kong, forearm, grabs him from behind, too strong is Shumatsu, escapes with the eight, went for the punch, comes flying in again, uppercut, knee, chop, chop, punch, Bruno Max still standing, Shumatsu turn into suck in a big boot, by Bruno Mack. 
and a knee by Shumatsu into the cover one he escapes at one from Shumatsu I don't think Shumatsu's ever witnessed something like that into the walk up grabs him drags him puts him against the rope arm trapped in the top rope pulling and squeezing into the walk up again sent all the way to the outside Bruno Mack holds the ring Shimatsu back in Bruno in the corner Shimatsu laughing into the walk up into the hip toss stomp to the arm grounded punches by Bruno Mack to Shumatsu Shumatsu's got the experience he's used to being competing at Skeg Vegas Wrestling went for the big boot and missed into the lock up again kick to the gut into the DDT headbutt this is a heavy hitting match spinning back fist by Shumatsu and a throat slash as Bruno Mack goes to the corner clubbing blows in the corner by Shumatsu headbutt you know just driving the boot into his face into the rope and the running boot into the cover one only a one Bruno Mack to his feet and with the uppercut stunned against the ropes is Shumatsu chop going after the leg in the middle rope Shumatsu's obly net breaker by Bruno Mack into the cover not even a one the referee couldn't even get his hand down in time punch Shumatsu still standing went for the running big boot kick to the gut roundhouse kick by Shumatsu that is a big man to be in a roundhouse kick and another one what athleticism clothesline second clothesline into the power slam pulls him to his feet Big Boo! What a devastating Big Boo that was! I have never seen Shumatsu hit like that! That might be it! It's all over! Send the undefeated through! One! Two! Oh! He got a shoulder up at the last day in breath! But Shumatsu's hurting! Fights out of the corner! Another roundhouse kick, third in this match, pulls him to his feet. Another roundhouse kick, fourth in this match, pulls him to his feet. And a huge punch! That's the knockout blow right there. One, one, shoulder up at one by Bruno Mack. He's impressed in it, has to be said. Knee was looking to end this match, Shumatsu fights free. Grabs him, drags him, puts him against the rope. Put on the middle rope, into the other rope. Splash to the back. Slamming his head into the mat. Is he challenging Shumatsu to get up? I don't think that was wise. Taken down, shots to the gut. into the head butts by Shumatsu but Bruno Mack is back up look at his strength huge yeah, overhead belly to the belly by Shumatsu into the ground and punches but Bruno Mack is still fighting Surprise the ring hasn't collapsed. No. Bruno Mack, Springwell crossbody. 
I didn't think a big man like that could do a spring mode manoeuvre. I'm surprised the ropes didn't snap. Sent into the ropes. Huge German suplex. One, two. This is like nothing ever was seen before this match. Big boot. We saw how close he come to winning earlier with that move. And he was looking to end it. But Shimatsu countered with a one-handed spine buster. To the corner. Big splash. Snake eyes in the corner. Into the rope. Big boot. Into the rope again. Leg drop by Shimatsu. Into the cover. One. Two. It is over. Kicks out at two. And somehow Bruno Mack. He's getting to his feet, looking for the Shumatsu. Boom, that is it. One, two. He escapes at the last dying breath. The last dying breath. Oh, God, not this. Not this. We've seen him do this in the past. The skull grip slams. He usually hits them in threes. That is it. Doesn't go for the pin, instead just headbutting Bruno Mack. This is Bruno Mack's debut. It might be his retirement match from SVW. If Shimatsu has his way. I believe Shimatsu is bleeding. He seems to be trying to get Bruno Mack to bleed as well. And Bruno Mack is busted open, but that fired him up. For him. Into the rope, punch to the temple. That could kill a man. And these two just taunting off. Forearm, kick, punch, punch. We are witnessing something special here between these two giants. Absolute slugfest, a bomb burner here between these two men. What a debut by Bruno Mack. Remember his name. He's got a bright future here at Skate Vegas Wrestling no matter what happens here tonight. And he is looking to end this match with the elbow drop to the back. Pin him. Pin him. He does go for the pin. That is it. One. Two. Oh, he escapes it too. And Bruno challenging him to get to his feet. Into the ground and punches again. And another punch. I've never seen Shumatsu look so fragile. Bruno pulls him to his feet. Went for the back elbow. Look at the blood dripping down Shumatsu's head. But he's still fighting. If he wins this match... Well, it doesn't matter if he wins or not. On Sunday, he's got Michael Mayer Matthews in a Monsters Ball match. He's not going to be 100%. What is Bruno Mack doing? Stun to the back of the air. That is it. Huge upset. One, two. Oh, he escapes again. Double foot stomp to the back. Another double foot stomp. That is one of the most brutal stunts I have ever seen. Escapes it too again. Shumatsu will not die. Was looking for the one-handed spine buster. Ipsos by Shumatsu. Pulls him to his feet. Gets a run up. Gunshot Lariat. That is it. One. So we could count to 10 and he escapes it to Shumatsu can't believe it. Bumps into each other. Both of these men hurting. Both of these men tired. Both of these men fatigued. Corner trap spear. Into the double foot stomp by Bruno Mack. 
to the top rope looking to fly went for the splash looking for the dead eye driver and he's not done to the top rope looking for death soul that is it one two three match of the night contender question mark i think so what a match what a great showing by bruno mack in his debut oh come andre andrews as you go to the highlights that is what the king of vegas division is all about ladies and gentlemen and the winner of this match by pinfall, Shumatsu! Welcome, Bobby. Great seeing you watching. Long time no see. I hope you're doing well. Let's get into the main event. It's the one you have been waiting for. Huge main event here. It is going to be Nino Planter and the No Limits Champion Jackson Bates versus the Skengness Sanctum Lincolnshire Champion Duncan Riley. A nerd. I want to see all four of these men in the live chat. I want to see who you want to win in the live chat. And one last time, I would greatly appreciate it if you could share this show about with your friends, to your social medias, to your followers. Let's train it 40 live viewers for this main event. It is an all-star main event, a blockbuster main event. We know Jackson Bates goes one-on-one -on -one with Duncan Riley Sunday at last stand three in the main event. And we know Nino Planter goes one-on-one -on -one with Nerd at last stand three. Welcome, Freddy Fox. Let's get into this match. The following is your Skeg Vegas Wrestling main event. And it's a tag team match. Making his way to the ring. First representing the No Limits division. Nino. Planta. Nino Planta is undefeated at Skeg Vegas Wrestling. Has made quite the impression here at SVW. Got a record of two wins and zero losses. He will face Nerd Sunday at last stand free. Live streaming at 6 p.m. UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. Can he pick up another win here tonight to have momentum going into that match? Welcome in the zone wrestling, great seeing you watching. This is a tough one. This match could go either way, in my opinion. It's a tough one to call. It is your main event of the evening. This is a pay-per-view caliber match. I hate luchas, especially plant-loving luchas, says Duncan Riley. And his tag team partner, he is the Skeg Vegas Wrestling No Limits Champion, the Flag Bearer, Jackson Bates. Jackson Bates goes one on one with Duncan Riley Sunday at last stand three in the main event in a two out of three falls match. It's a grudge match, no championships on the line. It's going to be the fourth time since you have faced off. Duncan's won one, and the other two have ended in draws. Jackson Bates has a record of 25 wins, three draws, and eight losses. He became No Limits champion at Winter in Vegas 3, defeating Cameron Miller for the vacant championship. We attend against Morty Morton at New Divide 2. 
a special weekly episode of SVW. Retained against Duncan Riley at New Beginnings 4 in a draw. Retained against Marco Vedi at Skegness Sanctum till death do us part. Retained against Duncan Riley at Rebound 4 in a draw. And he retained against Flynn Knight on episode 44. And he retained against David Roode on episode 45. Six successful title defences for Jackson Bates. Big match, Phil. Who's going to have bragging rights going into last stand three? And their opponents. First, representing the wingman division and brains and brawn. Nerd. Nerd goes one on one with Nino Panther at last stand three Sunday. In a division versus division match. Nerd has a record of 9 wins and 11 losses. We don't know what's going on with him and Elvis Sabino. Him and Brains and Braun. Yes, they are still teaming. But we have no idea where Elvis Sabino is. Last month we had no idea where Nerd were. He was out training in foreign countries. Learning his craft. This month, we have no idea where Elvis Sabino is. It's a confusing thing that's going on. But Nerd's been having single matches this month. Last month, Elvis Sabino had single matches. So I guess it's Nerd's time to have some single matches. And his tag team partner. He is the Skeg Vegas Wrestling Skegness Sanctum Lincolnshire Champion. The World Breaker Duncan Riley. This man is the first ever Grand Slam Champion of Skeg Vegas Wrestling, the first male Grand Slam Champion. Former King of Vegas Champion, longest winning in promotion history. Former wingman champion, former No Limits champion. He's representing the King of Vegas division currently. He has got a record of 32 wins, 2 draws and 5 losses. He goes one-on-one -on -one with Jackson Bates in the main event of Last Stand 3 on Sunday. He has 3 successful title defences with that championship. He returned against Xavier Williams. A winner in Vegas 3. He returned against Jackson Bates in a draw at New Beginnings 4. He returned against Jackson Bates in a draw at Rebound 3. Rebound 3? Three, rebound 4? No, yeah. Rebound 4. Rebound 4. This is your main event of the evening. A blockbuster tag team match. If you haven't already, please share the show around with your friends, with your social medias, to your followers. Let's try and hit 30 live viewers for this main event. It is a huge one. It's going to be Nino Panta and Nerd to start off opponents. Come last stand three on Sunday. The bell rings and off we go. Kick to the gut by Nerd. Went for the slap to the face. Four on by Panta. Into the lockup. Pushed off by Nerd. Respect shown by both of these men for a moment. Slap to the face. Went for the kick. Counted. Kick to the gut. Kick. Slap to the face. Missed. Shoved off by Nerd again, into the roof edge press, into the amount of punches. Nerd with the slight height and weight advantage. And a huge corkscrew splash by Nino Planter, the luchador. And Nerd is back up, went for the forearm, shot to the back by Nerd. Went for the head scissors, it missed. Both men thinking slaps, punch, slap, kick, kick. Kick, forearm, forearm, forearm again. Nino Planter still standing. Nerd saying, come on, cheer me. And uh, body scissors by Nino Planter. Stomp to the back. Stomp to the back of the head. Knee to the skull. Second knee to the skull. Third knee to the skull. Jackson Bates is tagged in. Duncan Riley's tagged in. 
The main event for last stand three. Both men thinking running European uppercuts as they stare each other down. Sent into the ropes. Went for the knee. Duncan Riley saw it coming. Into the walk up. Sent into the corner. Bates comes running in. Counter by Riley. Drop kick by Duncan Riley. Says, come on, Bates, bring it on. Into the walk up. Looking for the Tiger Driver! Duncan with the item weight advantage of course. Oh my word! Huge overhead belly to belly! Bates needs a tag. Duncan just stood in front of him. Oh don't do this, don't do this. Stomp to the back of the head. I'm going after the head. Bates kicks him off. Duncan's rocked. That kick to the back of the air rocked him into the roof edge, pressed into the mount of punches. What a start to this contest. And Planter's tagged in. I don't know if Planter wants this. I think he's made a big mistake. Backbreaker. Second backbreaker. And just tossed across the ring by the world breaker. Who is going to break Nino Planter here. No, don't do this. Oh, thank God you counted, Planter. Thank God you counted. Into the walk-up again. No, don't do this. Oh, my God. Just toss with the overhead belly to belly. Snapdragon suplex. Why did Bates sacrifice Nino like this? And just tossed. What a falcon arrow. Just end it. One. Whoa, Nino Planner kicked out of one. And Duncan says, you know what, nerd, you deal with him. He's not my problem. And nerd wants to be respectful and do it in the ring. Snap me. It's a tation drop kick by Nino Planter. He's tagging in Jackson Bates. Nerd and Jackson Bates have history. They've faced off before. Jackson Bates won that match running knee. But this is a different nerd compared to the nerd of old. Springboard cutter by Jackson Bates. Into the walk up. Sent it into the corner. Comes running in with the knees. Pulls him to his feet. Into the lock up again. Use German suplex. And Nerd trying to get up. Jackson Bates to the top row. What does he have in mind? Nerd caught him. Nerd caught him. Look at the strength of Nerd. Skim slam by Nerd into the cover to win. One. Oh, Bates kicks out one. The strength of Nerd to catch Jackson Bates. Uh oh, use German suplex, nearly got decapitated on the bottom rope. Going after the legs now. Nerd needs a tag. And Bates was going to the corner and Bates turning his attention to Duncan Riley with these punches. But Duncan's still standing. Nerd and Duncan regrouping. Jackson Bates with a headbutt to Duncan Riley. And Nerd is all on his own. Black flag, that is it. No one's kicked out of this manoeuvre. But Nerd kicks out. Nerd kicks out. Nerd kicks out. Looking for... Kill confirmed! Nerd countered! Nerd to the top rope! What a moment! Nerd kicking out a black flag! Now walking the road to a drop kick! That's it! You jump set! One! Two! This is a different nerd kick out and two by Jackson Bates! Nerd to the top rope right in front of Nino Panther! Punch to the leg! Nino getting involved as well. To the top rope, Rose Nerd. 
Bates throws him off the top. Nerd with the back elbows. Crossbody by Nerd. We've seen how much Nerd has improved. Oh, but Nilo Plantar taking Nerd off the top rope. And leaving Duncan Riley Bates again. And Planter and Nerd going at it. Nerd sends him in for Jackson Bates. Jackson telling him to suck it. Went for the springboard cutter. A missed. Sent into the corner. Went flying into the turnbuckle. Did Nerd. Went for the shoulder tackle and missed. Went for the punch. Four on by Nerd. Nerd to the top rope. Jackson too busy with Duncan Riley. Nerd looking for. I'll make you famous, sir. Into the pin. One and Nino Pana breaks it up. Duncan's taken out. Nerd's on his own. Sends bait in, bits into the corner. And Nerd wants Nino Planter. And we're getting an early look at last stand three. Pump handle gut buster. Nerd's in a bad way. He can't even get to his feet. Kick to the gut. Nino Pano looking for the power bomb. It's over. He tags in Jackson Bates. Jackson Bates is going to pin Nerd. Instead pulls him to his feet. I think he made a mistake there. He should have pinned him. He should have pinned him. Maybe Bates wants to pin Duncan. He's letting his obsession with Duncan... Stopping him from pick up the win. Thrown to the outside. Nerd needs a tag. And Nerd gets the tag and in comes the world breaker. Going right after Planter for no reason. And Bates going after Nerd. Oh, apron back suplex. Nino's out. Bates is all alone now. Sent into the rope. Pop up. Headbutt. Counter by Riley. Into the lock up. Thrown down with a falcon arrow. What a brutal falcon arrow that is. Into the lock up again. Toss. You're a nuggy. This main event rages on. Duncan Riley in complete control of Jackson Bates. Snapmare, chop, kick. Into the mounted punches. And a slap to the face. And now an elbow to the back of the head, raining down the elbows. Duncan Riley, the world breakers in a foul mood as he usually is. Continuing to punch away at Jackson Bates is Duncan Riley. This is getting hard to watch, keeping him grounded. What condition is Bates going to be in Sunday? Come last stand, three Bates counters with the knees. Got a grueling two out of three. Falls match! Springboard headbutt by Bates. Needs a tag. Planter's tagged in. Duncan says, bring it on. Show me what you can do. Ed scissors by Planter. Into the cover. That ain't going to be enough. Not even a one this late in the match. Snap there. Into the ropes. Penalty kick by Nino Planter. Into the corkscrew splash. Pin him. Pin him. Duncan Crowing. I don't even think Nerd's on the apron. Snapmare again. 
into the rope again. Nerd is on the apron now. Penalty kick again. Pulls him to his feet again. Can he get him up? Mission Uku driver by Nino. Freaking plan of it. Nerd broke it up. To the middle rope. Went for the shooting star. Oh, and Duncan Riley's pissed now. Don't do this, don't do this. Using the turnbuckle as a weapon. Nino Planter is the size of Duncan Riley's leg. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the size of his freaking leg. Into the fireman's carry. Planter, oh, fighting free, reverse DDT. And Duncan, he doesn't want to make the tag. But I don't think he knows where he is. Crow into the corner now. This is ego, this. You saw it a lot when he was teaming with Fox Winters. He wanted to do it on his own. And a four on my planter. Reverse DDT. Duncan needs to swallow his pride and tag in nerd. Head first into the turnbuckle. Tag made by Nino Panter and Bates. Definitely working the better of the teams. Tag team maneuver coming up. Huge back body drop. By Nino Planter and Jackson Bates. And Duncan still refusing to tag Nerd. Attacking the legs. We've seen him damage the legs in past matches. What's Bates doing? He needs to focus on Duncan. He is focused on Duncan. Duncan's. He says his leg's not injured. But the first attack to the leg in this match, and you can see how it affected Duncan Riley with him obbling there. Kick to the gut. Count up four. Duncan, don't do this. Duncan, no. No. Powerball on the barricade. That's it. It's over. He just needs to pin him. And Bates crawling to Planter, but Duncan just stomps on him and now goes to the pin. One, two, it is over. Jackson Bates somehow gets the shoulder up. Duncan's telling the ref to count faster. Stomp to the back of the leg. Chop, just disrespecting Bates. Chop again. Back elbow. Back elbow. Just playing with his food. Is Duncan Riley here? Bates is out. And Nerd taking a cheap shot now. And now he wants to tag in Nerd. Oh my word. Package. Power driver. Into. The suplex by Nerd it is over. Into the cover. One. Two! Bates escapes it two and a half. Throws him into the corner. Dancing, telling to Planter to get in again. Planter with a roof edge, pressing to the amount of punches. Bates is out of it in the corner. Planter sends him into the corner. No countered. No countered. Cross body. Teasing Planter and Planter just sucks him in the mouth. Nerd. Slamming him against the top rope. To the top rope. Maybe thinking I'll make you famous or punch. Walks the ropes. Spin more drop kick by Nerd. Went to deal with Bates and Bates got the knee up. No, no, the suicide dive onto Bates. As Bates told him to suck it. Nino's to his feet. 
Close line to the outside. Nino going off the dunker right through the forearm. German suplex by Bates to Nerd. Stunner on the apron by Planter to Duncan Riley. Jackson Bates looking for the butterfly suplex. Nerd escapes to the arm drag. What a main event. Nerd back in the ring. Planter back in the ring. Looking for the Mission Uku driver. Duncan's out on the outside. It is over. Nerd escapes. Again, Nerd has had his Nerd shakes in this match. Jesus Christ, he's a resilient son of a gun. This is a breakout performance for Nerd as Bates was looking for the super kick. An elbow by Nerd sends Jackson into the corner, blood dripping down his head, tag team maneuver coming up, assistant punch to the gut. Full Nelson slammed by Duncan Riley into the cover to win. One Nino Panda breaks it up. Shop. Punch to the arm. Into the arm breaker. Into the back suplex by Jackson Bates. Into the cover to win. One Nino needs to get in there and he does get in there and he breaks it up. Bates was looking for the super, again, super kick again. Duncan said no. Duncan looking for the drop. Driver, that is it. Planner's knocked off the apron. Bates is out. This is it. This is the ending of this match. Bates is out. Drop. Dead drop. Driver, he calls that. Two. It is over. Last day in breath. Jackson Bates kicks out. The dead drop driver. Not able to get the job done. Duncan leaving the ring. What is Duncan doing? Steel chair in hand. Oh, and just clocks Bates round the head. And continuing to strike with a steel chair as the referee disqualified him. He has disqualified him. What a ruin to that match. Duncan Riley ruined that incredible match. He couldn't get the job done with a dead drop driver. So he went to the outside, got the steel chair, caught Bates around the head and got his team disqualified. What a piece of crap. If you are watching the show, please drop a like. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell, select all. It will let you know whenever I go live. If you are watching the show, after it gets uploaded, please watch for at least a minute, drop a like, leave a comment. If you're watching the show live, once it gets uploaded, please go back, watch it for at least two minutes, drop a like, leave a comment. Always weak going into last stand now, says Duncan Riley. Follow me on Instagram at Skeg Vegas Wrestling, Twitter at S Vegas Wrestling, Facebook Skeg Vegas Wrestling. The next show is live Sunday, 6 p.m. UK time. Live streaming on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. You're free to watch monthly pay per view. Skeg Vegas Wrestling, last stand free. You don't want to miss that. Every championship on the line and so much more. You can vote for your favourite match from this show on Instagram at Skeg Vegas Wrestling later on today. But that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed the show. I'll be back live Sunday, 6 pm UK time on the Skeg Vegas Wrestling YouTube channel. You are very welcome, David Lewis. I'm glad you enjoyed the show. <laughs>